Oh, it was a really good panel. I think there was uh, so many great things, it's hard to summarise. I think, I think one of the interesting things was the fact that the hybrid work environment, in some ways it doesn't seem to be working for anybody because on the one hand you've got employee anxiety where they're not quite sure how often they're supposed to be in the office uh, and some of them would prefer to be either totally remote or totally in the office. And of course for employers you have that sort of investment in the workplace, things like security and IT systems to worry about. And I think you have to have this mind shift uh, between supervision from leaders towards empowerment because if you're going to make remote and hybrid working effective for your organisation, you have to make sure you're creating the, the infrastructure, the environment where people can take decisions and they've got the tools that they need to, to act independently wherever they're working. So in a way sort of create an environment where good people can do great work. And I guess I suppose one of my final takeaways would be that there was a lot of talk about uh, this talent crunch and the difficulties of retention. Uh, and employee experience really plays uh, a big role in that. It was really interesting to see in the HFS research the difference between organisations which had a very mature uh, approach to employee experience and those which, which hadn't really looked at it and the huge disparity in their retention rates. And from a recruitment point of view as well, I think particularly in the IT space, organisations need to start thinking differently about their recruitment because there's a lot of very traditional approaches looking at linear career paths, looking for people from the same business schools, looking for people who maybe are almost like identikit hires to those which have gone before them. And really we need to move away from that where we're now in a situation where there's so many people who are in jobs and if you want to attract the best talent, you're going to have to start looking at older uh, recruits perhaps in some cases, the neurodiverse, really sort of nailing your diversity and appealing to groups where they may not be your traditional hires but where a lot of the skills lie that IT companies need to be getting on board to, uh, to become more effective and to fill those talent gaps that they have. Oh, what's exciting in terms of the future? Well, I mean, there's some of the sort of real cliched answers I could give that to the real sort of hype stuff uh, around sort of AI and but I, I thought what was really interesting in the discussions today was it wasn't just the sort of normal hype about chat GPT, but actually thinking about how new technologies can actually help employees. And I found it really interesting. I think one of the discussions people talked about how actually probably the greatest use of AI is going to be applying it to companies' own data and applying it to employees' own tasks to help them to be more effective and more productive. And I have to say, I was completely converted by the, uh, the Web3 presentation. I've always been massively sceptical about Web3 and blockchain, and I've always thought it's a load of hype and a uh, sort of sector that's full of charlatans trying to make a quick buck. But I, I found that conversation really interesting where actually when you look at a lot of the high-profile failures in that space, they've really been because of centralised decision making rather than decentralised uh, activity which is really what that's supposed to be all about. So yeah, absolutely fascinating in terms of how technology is going to change the workplace and remains to be seen how that manifests. The HFS experience has been great. I mean, um, I've found it really interesting. I think people often when they come to sort of industry conferences, they kind of tow a party line. They have an agenda, they come along, they sort of represent their company and sort of they don't really engage, they just spout bullet points which are sort of points that their companies want to make. Whereas I think with HFS there's been a lot more candid conversations. I think people have been quite frank, quite open and it's been often a sort of a slightly different and more practical take on uh, a scenario. So you sort of start off with the research findings as a hypothesis and then really flesh it out in the panel debates and, and finding really practical solutions to the challenges that people are facing. So that's been really rewarding.